I feel it may be interesting uh, to recapitulate uh, what you think are the main steps, the main uh, folds uh, in, your, in your pathway, in your scientific pathway, I mean, the turning points. Some I did control and some I didn't. What I did, couldn't control was, of course, my upbringing, my education, my life in Basel, which is, um, you know, very much in science and in pharmaceutical industry. My father worked at, for Geige, a pharmaceutical industry. So this was all important. I think the selection of studying medicine was important. Uh, then I decided to become a surgeon, which I think is also important because you, you learn a, a certain decision culture and, and uh, how to make decisions. But then I think the next important step was to go into infectious disease immunology in Lausanne and then in Canberra. And the rest is sort of serendipity, it happened. I guess on the way, the most important factor, very much contributing, was finding my wife, also an MD, ophthalmologist. We had three kids. So, you know, the constancy of having a, a um, very solid and constructive relationship was very important. And then, you know, luck. Luck was very important. You know. We were in an ex extraordinary time of science. You know, you started and it only went up. Fantastic. In every respect. Fantastic. The, the, uh, I mean, your, your, your discovery has had, discoveries have had a profound impact on medicine. And at the present time, we have a pressure from granting agencies to do applied or translational research. What are your, your views, your general views uh, on the relationship between uh, uh, applied versus basic research? Yeah. I don't I like my own mind. Yeah, my I own don't mind. like the distinction because I think the only distinction is is the time frame. Applied is shorter term, basic is longer term. But I think, you know, the, the, the president of the American uh, Academy of Sciences once stated, basic science is not yet applied science. And I think this is very true. But on the, I think there's an additional aspect. If whatever research reveals as a result that is objective and can be controlled uh, and quality controlled, I think will always be applicable. If the research turns out to be wrong, of course it's not applicable. That's simple. No. <laughs> Maybe too simple, but that's how it is, I think. Uh, you have a message for our would-be medical doctor for our, uh, doctors for our students uh, that you want to convey? Keep your eyes open to the unexpected because I think every, every patient in a way can reveal interesting questions or interesting problems. And the second general rule is work hard. And the third is don't believe in or follow dogmas. Go for rational explanations. Thank you, Rolf. That's welcome. <laughs>